Good morning church, my name is Laura and I'm part of our central Manchester location and it's a real pleasure to be sharing a devotion with you today and really focusing on lessons on relationships from the Bible and specifically today I want to focus on the relationship between the sisters uh, Leah and Rachel in the Old Testament and you can reference more of their story from Genesis 29 to Genesis 35. But for context, uh, I wanted to focus on the preceding chapter, Genesis 28. And uh, here Jacob was compelled by his father Isaac not to marry a Canaanite woman, but to return to his mother's home and take a wife from his mother's brother Laban. And so Jacob uh, received his father's blessing, the blessing of Isaac, and obeyed his command uh, and went in search of his future wife. And uh, during uh, Jacob's journey from uh, his father's house in Beersheba back to Paden Aram, where he would find Laban, we read about uh, the Lord speaking to uh, Jacob in a dream. And it's a very uh, famous passage, you might be familiar with it, Genesis 28, uh, verses 13 to 15. And the Lord says to Jacob in the dream, I am the Lord, the God of your father Abraham and the God of Isaac. I will give you and your descendants the land on which you are lying. Your descendants will be like the dust of the earth and you will spread out to the west and to the east, to the north and to the south. All people on earth will be blessed through you and your offspring. I am with you and I will watch over you wherever you go and I will bring them back to this land and I will not leave you until I have done what I've promised you. What a fantastic uh, blessing to, uh, to, to read in uh, Genesis. And um, as you read through the story and fast forward several years, Jacob has worked for uh, Laban in return for both of his daughters in marriage. And really it's a, a story of uh, deception and struggle and misery, not just for Jacob, but also for uh, Rachel and Leah, who are sisters um, and daughters of Laban and really carried a lot of bitterness um, and uh, envy and jealousy in their hearts towards each other. Uh, but really the, the thing that I want to pull out today is that no matter what relational difficulties that they went through, God's purposes continued to prevail in their lives. God was faithful to the promise that he had given Jacob in, in Genesis 28. And that promise extended to both Rachel and Leah despite all of their failings and their shortfalls. They weren't perfect and their relationship was certainly not perfect, but they remained in the will of God and they continued in obedience to what Isaac had commanded Jacob. And as a result, they were blessed. And uh, in fact, what I've discovered is that the only time Rachel and Leah were uh, in unity uh, was concerning God's word. And you can read in Genesis 31, verse 16, Rachel and Leah replied to Jacob, surely all the wealth that God took away from our father belongs to us and our children. So do whatever God has told you to do. And uh, you may be facing some relational uh, challenges with, with people who are, are closest to you today. Um, but let me remind you that God's plan and purposes will continue to prevail and that they are good. And um, why, why don't you take a moment to remind yourself of those promises uh, that God has given you and even use them as a declaration um, in whatever situations that you might be facing today. If possible, why not even come into agreement with somebody today on God's word regarding what you're facing and uh, know that God was faithful to Rachel and Leah and in the same way he will continue to be faithful with us in whatever we're facing. So I really want to uh, bless you today church and hope that that brings some encouragement to you that God is faithful despite whatever relational difficulties that we might be going through. I hope you have a fantastic day.